Hello and welcome to this getting started tutorial with Go Future Fly. In this video, we will go through our getting started example together and look how to implement Go Future Flag in a simple Go API application using Open Feature. Let's start with creating our flag configuration file. Uh, we create a new file called uh, flags.gofeatureflag.yaml and in it we put a new flag. So show email contact is the name of the flag. It has two variations, enable and disable, and a default rule that puts everything in disabled. Now that we have that, we need uh, the relay proxy to serve this configuration for every SDK to be able to operate with. So the relay proxy is a backend for Go feature flag. And we create a goff-proxy.yaml go file where we put um, two configuration. One is a polling interval. It means that every second we're going to look for a new version of the flags. And the retriever is where the flags are located. Now we run the Docker container. Uh, we set uh, a port and configuration place, and you can see that we've loaded our flag uh, directly in the console. Now we are going, going to our API, and we're going to create the link between uh, Open Feature and Go Feature Flag. So for this, we're going to start uh, by creating a variable for our provider. Provider is a component in between Open Feature and Go Feature Flag. And we're going to set this open uh, feature provider to open feature. So go feature flag will be the provider used by open feature. We create a client. A client is the object to be able to evaluate flags. So here we call it my feature flag client. And uh, we will start evaluating our flags. So for this, we need an evaluation context. And the evaluation context has what we call a targeting key. Targeting key is a unique identifier for or users or whatever you want. Here, it's a we get uh, the targeting key from the header X user ID and we set it in evaluation context. Now, in our API, we're gonna do an evaluation. So we're gonna check the boolean flag uh, called uh, show email contact with evaluation context, and we put a default value that is false. If anything goes bad, this default value will be used. And if our show email contact is true. So enabled, we're gonna use, we're gonna add the email to the API. So we will have the API returning this email. We start our API and we're gonna do some curl to validate how it works. So we're gonna do a first curl uh, with the user ID one, two, three, and we're gonna call the uh, API. So here, as you can see, we don't have any email in the answer because the flag is disabled. Now what we're going to do is like we're going to create a targeting rule to enable the flag only for user ID 123. So for that, we create a query, targeting key ec 123, and we put the variation enabled served when uh, this condition is true. So we can see that the flag is updated into the relay proxy, so it has been reloaded. And we can send the same curl as before. And here you can see that the email is sent back now. But if we change the user ID, like one, two, three, four, this time, the email is not sent at all. So you can see that we have added dynamism, this API just with the feature flag. So this is how it works. And congrats, you have feature flag in your application now.